And what would you, would you say to a skeptic who would say, well, all right, so your profession, you're going to devote your entire professional life to pretending to be someone else. What would you say to them? I'd say that's probably why I got along as well. I, I wasn't born to be an actor. I've never considered myself a leading actor. But I've been able to do things as Guinness did that he couldn't do in his own life. Um, they were characters. For instance, I loved playing the wicked cardinal in, in The Duchess of Malfi. Well, I'm not a villain in real life, but it's great fun to play a villain every now and then, and I'm quite successful at it. I remember when I did The Changeling with Franny Island, um, De Flores has horrible complexion, terrible acne and all sorts of stuff. So for the performance, I took oatmeal and put it all over my face. It was pretty horrific. And Nathan Cohen came and said in his review, Mr. Needles gives a remarkably moving performance as De, Fla De Flores, marred only by his oatmeal makeup. <laughs> If he'd remove that, he'd be way ahead. No. What is the core of playing a villain, an evil person, for you? You have to do a lot of study if you're not an evil person, and you have to find out how they behave. Right. Um, can you imagine what? Who was it? Albert Finney, who played Hitler in a movie right. just re Imagine what he went through. Yeah. And but I'm you just, like playing villains. You seem a fairly... You are a very nice, gentle, considerate man. Therefore, how do you go and play someone who is truly nasty? And watch other things going on around you. People that you consider, you can <laughs> base your performance on.